planets are there, and new hopes for knowledge and peace are there. And therefore, as we set sail, we ask God's blessing on the most hazardous and dangerous and greatest adventure on which man has ever embarked. It's very rewarding, and not just because of catching fish, it's the surrounding. What you see in a day, not always about catching fish, to me. Permit fishing, that's a different game. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Here, high five. Just landed about an hour ago in Miami. Kevin heard of a spot around here close by to the airport to check out. Supposedly it holds some peacock bass. Let's see what happens here. Strip, long strips, long strips. Oh. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Rob, you are a legend. They're gonna, he's gonna try to rip you out. Up high, up high, up high. There you go. Just to keep his head up. So we gotta get some food for tomorrow, get refueled, get permit ready, okay? Gas yeah, station, so let's do it. This is hard, uh -oh. oh, we gotta get some hot pockets. Do you want a burrito? Yeah, sure. Nice beer right here. Bro, pick it up. Yes. We saw that. Drop it right on his face. No, pick up and fire left. Pick up and throw again. God. It's like a druggie looking for a fix. You know, Will Benson said it as well. It's, once you catch that first one or your 30th one, you're so happy, but then you're so pissed off. You, you, you just can't wait to get to that next one. You just become so possessive and single-minded and single-channeled toward that next fish. But each and every one of them is like having a child. You know exactly time, day, place, who you were with when you caught a permit. Could I tell you when I caught my first trout? No way. Can I tell you where I caught my first permit? Absolutely. It was about four miles that way, 4th of July. I know exactly where I was for my first. These fish are very memorable. They're very special. And the things that happen down here with the Bonefish and Tarpon Trust and all other organizations down here in collaboration is great to see because this fishery really needs to be protected. I mean, to go out to the wrecks and reefs, you know, rest of the season i mean we have three months that it's closed for their spawning but these fish bring in a ton of money for the keys don't ask me the numbers i, I can go and do the research for it but 
these fish are, you know, it, it's almost like catching a wild golden trout or, you know, the biggest chrome you can ever see. But these fish are a different game.